to my channel. I am Manishika. So, in today's video, this will be a plan with me video for my April bullet journal. So, right here I have my bullet journal. So, as you can see, it's a really pretty book with this uh, leather kind of cover which ha which has an elephant on this. I got this book from um, a particular market in Goa and I've had it ever since and it's really pretty. It also has this floral pattern behind. So this video uh, I'll be doing the April bullet journal video uh, and you'll be able to see it and maybe if you like it you can do it yourself. So without further ado let's get started. So I'll just come to the page where I want to start my bullet journal. So I want to start it right here. So let's get started. So my idea is to start my April, um, like write the name of the month here, write a particular nice little quote and then I'll do the normal monthly uh, layout and my habit tracker, mood tracker and yeah and maybe I'll do something um, in the last page. So this April um, bullet journal video is actually um, inspired from Percy Jackson because um, it's summers and I just read Percy Jackson and I really liked it so I thought why not incorporate my love for the book in my channel so here it is and Percy it's inspired from Percy Jackson but the theme is more of Greek mythology and I hope you like it so without further ado okay that's the second time second time I've said it but this time for real without further ado let's get started So right here I'm writing the um, April in the font which is used which I've seen on internet this is the kind of font they use so this is what I'm using and this is like right in the center of the page I'm going to do some lettering so I'm gonna oh, and by the way I'm using my Tombow Fudi Nosuke brush pen I think you can see it with this brush tip some symbols which um, symbolize a particular god in Greek mythology so uh, maybe I'll start with Demeter so I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but Demeter is the goddess of um, I think plants in nature so I'll be drawing that
so there you go you are done with drawing all the symbols related to the greek gods so i'll tell you what each symbol indicates so as i told you this particular wheat indicates demeter um this trident um symbolizes poseidon the greek god of the oceans and the sea and the water uh, so actually um just um a fact in percy jackson percy um is the son of poseidon anyways continuing this grape uh symbolizes dionysus which is the god of wine then the sun symbolizes apollo i think many of you must know that if you don't that is god of sun and the day and brightness and all that then we had these hearts these indicate aphrodite the goddess of love this lotus indicates hera the queen of the gods and she is the wife of zeus and this particular lightning bolt indicates zeus um then we have this owl so owls indicate intelligence and therefore symbolize um to athena and athena is the goddess of battle strategies and planning and analysis and all of that uh and this hammer represents hephaestus so that is the god of um you know making workshops and construction and all of that this one this shoe with these flying uh wings this represents uh hermes hermes is the god of mischief and the god of jugglers and the god of thieves um and this particular armor here represents ares who is the god of war so i think that is it and uh, i hope this means something and this looks good to you but we're not done we will continue to add some more highlights and colors and i'll see you after some time Tombow dual brush pens to highlight these redemption through chaos i believe in that i think that that's the basis of greek mythology so i thought this was really appropriate and uh, i think we will go ahead with that so first i will uh take my tumbler food and also play freshman
white line ergo line calligraphy pen
spread for April. So over here also incorporated the same uh, design of the gods, that is Aphrodite, Apollo, Zeus, Hera, and that's Zeus again, and that's just some notes. You have a beach, uh, you have goals side and this is where you can write all your daily tasks and events and all that according to your key. Next up, mood tracker and habit tracker. it in the same way so first we're going to draw the circles
tracker too. So over here you have each um, I made 30 circles indicating 30 days of April and this uh, and I've also incorporated the whole theme of April that is Greek, so that's Zeus, Poseidon, Artemis, Aphrodite, Hera and again Zeus. So I've just done that and pink if you um, like put a um, pink border around the black or if you color in pink or something like that then that means that was a happy day if you don't do that then that was a sad day so that that is how this works and these two have the same kind of thing uh, and yeah and that is it there's just one last thing you can also make this even more prettier by using some highlights out with this and this quote next we did uh, our monthly spread monthly layout and we did our goal tra uh, mood tracker and habit tracker and then we just made this so that is it for this video and I hope you liked it and don't forget to like and subscribe.